Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see how to consume a SOAP based web service and expose that as a REST service using web methods. That is what we are going to do. So in order to do that, I am going to download some uh, sample Vistel from online. Okay, So for that I will just simply search SOAP web service online. So we are going to use any of the sample and I uh, will just uh, take this one uh, SOAP web service SOAP demo from this website crcind.com. I will just go inside the website and uh, there is a web service and it has a definition and also it has following methods so here there is some operation called add integer which will help to add and divide integer will help to divide and similarly we have many operations in the particular soap web service so this is the service description so which has the definition of your web service which mainly will tell what is your request structure response structure all the stuff so for example adding integer so you need an argument like argument 1 and 2 Similarly, you will get a result as add integer result field. So this is the Vistel. So I'll just copy this Vistel and I'll just put it in my notepad and I'll save it in my local. Okay. So I'll just uh, try to save this Vistel and I'll put in my download folder and I'll say this is uh, sample Vistel, right? So I'll just say sample Vistel dot Vistel as an extension. I'll save it and then I'll just put double quote and here also I'll just choose all files so this is a Vistel file I'll save it so it has a definition about your sample soap based web service okay so internally right when we invoke it will call this endpoint so now I'll use that Vistel to create the provider so for that what I'll do so this is uh, I'm using a web method 10.11 version and I'll just create a sample package and uh, here for this demo right I'm just using a trial version where I'm uh, using uh, service designer okay so i'll just create a test package which is saying it's already exists so i'll just create another package so test package one i'll create it inside that right i'll just create a main folder called test package one okay so then i have a main folder now so as i'm going to create a web service right so what i'll do i'll just create a subfolder called wis and inside that right i'm going to consume some web service okay so so you can create a folder called consumer and then i'm going to create the vistel here okay so i'll just uh, create a vistel yeah, i'm going to create a soap based web service so what you have to do is uh, you can select this web service descriptor and uh, you just select give some name so for now i'll just give this is arithmetic operation right so i'll just give arithmetic operation or you just give math or anything like that so i'll just give math here or I'll just give math service and then I'll click next and uh, how do you want to create right do you want to consume anything or you wanted to you wanted to act as a soap web service right so here I'm going to consume my soap based web service so here I'm going to use a Vistel and I'm, I'll select my Vistel which I downloaded in my local folder so I'm going to use this Vistel now and I'll leave everything to default and I'll just click next and there is no namespace URI I'll just click finish and problem parsing exception okay so it is throwing an exception so what will I do now instead of this Vistel right I think it is expecting some ad additional information instead I'll what I'll do I'll just uh, download the Vistel from here itself from the internet okay because you can give it in a URL or file so I'll try to download it from the same location so that you know it can easily download or relevant information see here it's able to download all the relevant schemas and other information and I'll click finish so there are two ways to create it so you can download and do it sometime most of the time it will work if you have all the things uh, embedded together so in our case it is not working so what I was doing I'm, I'm trying to download it from the direct URL okay so now the Vistel is created with all the relevant operation so now I'm going to expose this as a REST based service. So for that what I'll do, I'll just um, simply create some uh, folder and I'll just call this as a REST and this folder name is not that. So I'll just create a folder first in this level or I can even I can create under the WS folder level. So I'll just create a folder called REST and then I'll just okay REST is the 
reserved world so reserved word so i'll just give rest web service okay then i'll just click finish so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rest service and before that right i wanted to call so in this example right what basically we are doing is i'll just tell you uh, the use case uh, so basically there is a user wants to expose their soap web service as a rest okay so you need a rest here and you have a web methods here and then we are calling soap based web service so for now what we have done is so we are calling a soap based web service for example this is your soap web service right if somebody wants to connect the soap web service there will be a connector here which you need to use it to call that particular service for example i have a connector here which i can call from a flow service uh, in order to invoke this one okay so for example if i run this service it asks input right so if i give 10 and 20 as input then if you are adding those things right so it should give 30 as output okay so if you see here the output the add integer result is 30 so where is this web service is running so it is running in this endpoint okay so basically this uh, particular web service is running in this particular location okay so you have a endpoint like uh, actually endpoint will be available at the end of the one so you have the soap address so this is your actual target endpoint or program which receives your request and uh, add that number and it's giving a response so now uh, my source right or my client or uh, the client application wants to use this functionality but only thing is they wanted to use rest instead of soap method so for that what i have to do is so i can expose that as a rest how do i do it so in order to connect or call that particular soap based web service what we need to do so we have to call the adapter service right so i'll just uh, in order to call that you need to use the the web service connector service okay so for that i'll just create a simple flow service here what will i do so i'll just uh, how we ran directly now the connector right similarly i'm go going to use that service here okay so this flow service basically have your connector called and uh, so this connector right basically it will accept input and then it is going to so if you run the service right so you have some uh, specific input and output right so this is your input and output and this is your response so similarly right so if you wanted to expose some data right so you can expose it for example here if you wanted to when you call this connector right so you will also will have that input and output in your pipeline okay so i'll just close this one just to see the pipeline or i'll just go to the service development perspective or i'll reset the perspective so that you can see the pipeline okay so this is your pipeline so the pipeline require input called argument one and argument two right so for uh, have a meaningful name right so you can also have your own specific field name for example i will have a field like number one and number two and then i'll just uh, give this value as my output field so that you know you can expose your field name as a meaningful input and output okay so this is my input and output so now if i run this service right so i have to map this number one to here because this arg1 or 2 is a soap web service input okay so now the add integer response this add integer result right i'll map it to my output field and whatever it's not required right this input i'll just drop it i'll save it so now what we have done is so we have done this portion earlier we have done only the soap web service now from the esb flow service in web method flow service you have called the soap based web service connector so now we are able to execute this also and it will give a result so for example if you run earlier i pass the input and output in a i pass the input in a so base connector right with there i pass the value for arg1 and arg2 argument 2 right so here i'll pass it here i'll just give 12 and 13 and it will give the output as output field because this is how we mapped it so you just ignore about this all those stuff and uh, this is your output so basically if you don't need other stuff even you can drop that as well so that when it is going out as a rest based web service right you will get only what is relevant to your service and what is preserved those kind of things only it will go out to the external system so for example here what will i do i'll just clean up whatever it's not required okay so i don't want anything and i just only want the number one and number two and also output so that alone i'll preserve it so that so that i don't need the remaining information so i'll say number one 
number 2 I need it at the time of output and also I need a output field. So I'll just give OK and save it and I'll run it. So in that case right we will receive only what is required for this particular service. So this service only needs input and output and uh, 25. Okay so here why output is coming I'll just check it because the number 1 number 2 right so, uh, so I'll just double check the spelling what we have given okay pipeline and I'll just go to the number one number two output okay so maybe it's due to because we don't have any kind of output in our service output right because we are expecting that one so maybe it's related to that so I'll try to run it now again and see because I don't see any spelling mistake there in the preserve so I'll just run this one output so we, maybe we have dropped it somewhere I'm just double checking one minute yeah so we have dropped it here so that is why it is not coming there okay so I'll just drop this one and drop this one so so that you know your output will come there okay so I'll just run it now see here number one number two and then the added values are coming so now what we have completed so we have completed only till this portion so it's a, acting as a flow service only but what is our, our requirements we need to expose this as a rest web service as well so how do i do it so i'll just go to my service and here in the rest web service folder i'm going to expose this as a rest web service for that i'm going to click this rest resource and i'll give this as again a math service only math maybe i'll just give math rest service i'll click next and it's asking empty resource generate json template so i'll just select generate json api url templates and i'll just uh, click finish now and you have get and other stuff right so for this get what will i do i'll just edit this one okay so this get itself it generated lot of empty elements see here it created some lot of services see here i'll just go and uh, expand here it created automatically all your service so here what we are going to do this so get math rest services right so here what you can do you can call your flow service or your business logic so now this service right we will be able to invoke it so for that in order to call this one right so uh, before that I'll directly run and see it is working or not so it has no input so we need to expose our input and output as well so better we will uh, have our input mapped here okay so so that we know this is so get is selected and uh, i'll anyway i'll just specify the field here so that uh, whenever our service is called right so we will have our uh, input also coming there properly okay so this is our get all in get all method get all math rest services which is a get method i'll just go and input and output i'll just add here my input and output which is number one and number two and i'll save this one and i'll try to run and see what is the output we are getting run flow service i'll just give 11 and 1 okay i'll just click ok it's still running see here the output is coming as 12 so now what we have run is this get service we ran okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to call this rest service okay so how do i call it from my postman right so we will try to call that one from the postman so this particular is right it is running in double five double five okay so i'll try to run the rest service so I just copy the entire namespace path so instead right I can also give like this way I'll just give rest v2 rest v2 slash and anyway I need to pass the input right so input is going in our sample right it's going in a query parameter only so I'll add the values number 1 I'll say 13 and then I'll give number 2 I'll give 6 so I'll try to run and see what is the output we are getting saying access denied because I'm using a IS where I need to give some kind of credential to access this service right so as of now the IS which I'm using it right so it is basically using a default credential only so I'll just use administration administrator manage for this particular testing and then I'll click send to send the result okay so for example here 
now the output is coming empty okay so the output is coming empty and also it's in a default html format so if you want that to come as a json right what you can do is you can send in the header you can send the header call accept where you can set application slash json what it means is uh, you are expecting your response in a json format okay so now the output is null and error is null so we will see why it is coming null because when we invoke this service right and it was giving output and also you see here our service is invoking successfully so that is the reason you are getting 200 status so your service it's reachable and it's receiving this request and it's giving output as null so what might be going wrong so we might be passing wrong input so that you know it's not able to add it so we'll see what is the problem okay or maybe our output is not defined properly in our output so maybe that is the reason it may not be coming properly also so what will i do so here output id is there i'll also create a output field and just see uh, what is happening okay so i'll just uh, create our output field and then i'll save it and then i'll try to run it again to see uh, is that value it's coming in that particular field see here output is coming properly the earlier why did it didn't come properly because we have not defined our output field properly so I'll, uh, for a uh, testing right i'll instead of 6 i'll just give 60 so that it can turn the output as 73 okay see here it's working fine and also we are getting 200 okay so what we have done now so this is a rest service okay so you have a rest endpoint and you have a get method and you you are passing something in a http header and you are passing a basic authentication detail in order to secure your services and also whatever the input is required for your service you are passing it in a parameter as it's a get method i use the query parameter here and if it is a post method you can even pass your data in a body okay so that your service can receive the entire payload so this way so now what we have done is so we have done a rest web service also so we have exposed rest web service so what what is happening in the back end it is executing a soap web service only which is running in this particular website so this endpoint this particular endpoint the soap web service is running and uh, what we are doing is we internally we are using some uh, connector okay so basically we have created a consumer web service which in turn created a web service connector that particular connector we are calling from some wrapper flow service and then the ra that wrapper flow service we invoke from our rest web service so this way this is a simple thing right so you can invoke similar way any soap based web service and then you can pass the appropriate input to your operation so that you can expose that as a rest endpoint thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye